Hello, everybody. Welcome to the second automobile. Cut chow This was a movie that it sure is garbage enough for us to cover it. They made Spy Kids, but with cars. Spars. We got some reviews to look at. Greg Halfley from Diary of a Wimpy Kid gives it half a star and says, Heckin' cow poop. Nobody should wask it. This is leftist political themes. All you has the ultimate bad guy. Gray J says, can't sit through it. Even, Even Pixar, Pixar hates, hates this, this movie. Film. What a poop cube on wheels. Heck this movie. Let's get into Cars 2, but first make sure you lick that video and hit that subway. You gotta hit that Subaru because it's Cars. It's the Universal Castle. Is that the Capitol building? This was made by P. <laughs> This is Agent Leland Turbo. This is Agent Carr. A 50s narrator now. If COVID-19 doesn't take you out, can I? V. Is it supposed to be Pontiac? Is it just a V? Those boats are alive. They just talk, but no water ever gets in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, and who's gonna make me? All right. <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna make me? Leland Turbo, this is Finn McMissile. Finn McMissile? It's your boy, Fish McDonald's. Wait, if the cars and boats are all alive, wouldn't the actual missiles be alive as well? Any transportation vehicle technically should be alive. Is a missile transportation, though? Yeah, you're transporting a bomb from one place to another. Yeah, in the most safe and efficient way. Very carefully. Oh. What does he just take like 16 pictures of the same exact thing? I'm getting my picture taken. Don't worry about it. It's Finn McMissile! Finn Gun. Can we already talk about how guns have no relevance in the Cars universe? You know, bullets that are designed to cut human flesh. Don't pee on the oil rig. Wait, if oil is the equivalent of piss in the car universe, is this just the piss rig? But they also drink oil. He did what in this cup? Thanks for going up the Hot Wheels ramp and killing everybody.